What's going on, y'all? That boy Gam back in the building one more time, man. I just wanted to uh, get on here and address a video that I just saw on YouTube. Uh, I saw an, another YouTuber make a video about Toro, right? And his video was saying that he quit during Toro after two years. And the reason he said he quit during Toro is because he thought it would be um, more passive than it actually is because um, he's saying that it was more work than actual passive income. And the thing is, this is true that Toro is actually, you have to work, you have to do some work. It's not completely passive, you know? But so the question, the question that comes up is how passive is Toro and is it really still worth it to do it if you're looking for passive income one thing i can say is this the two reasons that he decided to quit why he said because it wasn't passive for him the reasons why he said that it wasn't passive these two reasons is what i had the issue with a little bit right so the first reason he said was he didn't like the fact that he needed to meet with the customers drop the keys off to the customers, then go meet with the customer again to go pick the keys up, pick the car up, and all of that stuff. Now, the thing about that is, you literally don't have to do that. Like, I don't do that. I don't meet any of my customers anymore. When I first started, yeah, I used to do it because I didn't really know a better way. I used to get frustrated going to the airport trying to meet people at the right time when they flight going to arrive and I'm trying to schedule when can I be there at the right time to hand the keys over to them. But then I had to realize like, okay, work smarter, not harder. So the thing is, if you have a lockbox and you have a system in place where the customer can go to the car without you actually meeting them, and where you can either give them a code to the lockbox or sometimes you can do it through the phone, through the app, you can unlock the car that way, which is even better in my opinion. But if you have a lockbox, then you don't have to meet with the customers. You basically just tell the customers, where is the vehicle? The customer goes to the vehicle and they can send you a picture of themselves and their license with the vehicle, then you can send them the code and they can drop it off the same way drop it off put the key back in the lock box lock it up take the photos or whatever let you know when it's done so that was the one thing that he said he quit because he got tired of doing that but it's like dude you can just figure out how you don't have to do that anymore you don't have to quit like literally that's not a good reason to quit in my opinion right so the second thing he said was, oh, he got tired of having to go and now he had to clean the car and refuel the cars and stuff like that. Now, one thing is you do have to clean the cars. Like you got to clean it. You get the car back, you're going to have to clean it. That's definitely one thing you're going to have to do. But as far as like talking about refueling, you shouldn't be refueling your own car because the customer is supposed to bring the car back the same way you gave it to them. So if you gave the, the customer the car with a full tank of gas, then that mean they supposed to return it with a full tank of gas, and then it should be ready for the next customer. You really shouldn't have to do too much refueling though. So that's another thing that I didn't understand. Like, why is it that you are refueling the cars? And then if the customer brings the car back, with less gas than what you gave it to them in, then they, now, if you have to refuel it after they gave it to you less than what you gave it to them, they will get charged the money that it costs for the gas. You give them a receipt, send a receipt, and they'll also get charged a, a inconvenience fee for you having to go and do it. So, you know, that's, um, those two reasons was the reasons why he said he didn't feel like that was passive. Now, that's the thing is that I agree that it's not 100% passive, but 
if those are the reasons why you are frustrated and it's not working out, you can fix those. Does that's not really a big deal to be honest. So, um, that's all I wanted to say about that, man. Now I got, I, you know, I've been doing tour for about two years now, and I learned a lot. So, if anybody got any questions, specific topics they want me to touch on, um, just let me know. And till next time, gam, Tevin.